Welcome back everybody. Let's do an example here. So let's say we have a function x squared plus 4 all to the power of 2 times x cubed plus 5 to the power of 3. We have to take this function and find its derivative. Now the first thing to realize is that this function f of x is two functions that are multiplied by each other. This x squared plus 4 to the power of 2 represents one function and then x to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 represents another function. So because we're finding the derivative of a function where two functions are multiplied by each other, we know we're going to use the product rule. So then when you apply the product rule, you'll end up getting this huge expression for the derivative. So let me explain each part. Well, this first square bracket here represents the derivative of that first function here, this x squared plus 4 to the power of 2. And to do that, we would just apply the chain rule, because notice how it's a function, x squared plus 4, within another function. The outer function is x squared. So we're basically applying the power of a function rule, which is a specific case of the chain rule. So we're taking the derivative of that outer function first, so we apply the power rule, we bring the 2 down, inner function stays the same, subtract 1 from the exponent, and then we multiply it by the derivative of that inner function, which is just 2x. So that's what that first bracket represents, the derivative of the first function, then we multiply it by the second function, and then we add the first function as is, so x squared plus 4 to the power of 2 stays the same, times the derivative of that second function. And notice when we take the derivative of just this function here, we are going to have to apply the chain rule again, or the power of a function rule, because it's a function, x cubed plus 5, within another function. The outer function is like x to the power of 3. So taking the derivative of that outer function first, we bring the 3 down, subtract 1 from the exponent, keep that inner function the same, and then we take the derivative of that inner function, which is just 3x squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, expressions that are sort of by themselves in smaller brackets and then multiply them together. So I took this 2 and this 2x, multiplied it, got 4x here, and then these two brackets stayed the same. And then I took this 3 and this 3x squared, multiplied them together, got 9x squared, brought that to the front, and then this x squared plus 4 to the power of 2 and this x to the power of 3 plus 5 squared stays the same. And now from these two expressions, let's see if we can take out any like terms. So notice how we can take out an x from both of these expressions, so that's one term we can take out. We can also take out this bracket x squared plus 4 from both terms, and you would take out uh, x squared plus 4 to the power of the lower of the exponents. So 1 is the lower exponent of 1 and 2, so we would just take out x squared plus 4 to the power of 1. And notice how this x cubed plus 5 is common in both as well. Same thing, we would take out the lower exponent. So we got 3 and 2, so the lower exponent is 2. So we would take out x to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 2. So when we factor out this expression from here, notice how we're just left with a 4 bracket x to the power of 3 plus 5, and this is like to the power of 1. Because the x squared plus 4 to the power of 1 we took out, we took out the x, and then we took out x to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 2, but since this was to the power of 3, there's still one of those brackets left, and then the 4 is left as well. And then from this expression, we took out all of this, so we're still left with a 9. We're still left with an x because we have x squared here and we only took out 1x. And then x squared plus 4 here is to the power of 2, but we only took out 1 uh, x squared plus 4, so we're left with x squared plus 4 to the power of 1. And then x cubed plus 5 to the power of 2 we took out completely, so there are no more brackets x squared plus 5 left in this second expression in this big bracket here. And then simplifying that big bracket here, distributing the 4 inside the bracket and then the 9x inside the bracket, it would simplify to 13x cubed plus 36x plus 20, and then all these expressions here remain the same. So this huge expression here is the simplified derivative of this function. So lots of crazy algebra going on. Basically in this function, what you want to realize is that you had to use the chain rule within the product rule. So the first thing to realize is that it's two uh, functions being multiplied by each other. So when we take the derivative, we have to apply the product rule. 
And then within the product rule, because these are composite functions, each of these separate functions here, when we take the derivative of them within the product rule, we're going to have to apply the chain rule or the power of a function rule. And then simplifying it is a bit of a headache. A lot of times your teacher won't want you to simplify. A lot of times they do want you to simplify. So I thought I would show both ways. And then when you simplify, take out like terms, you end up with this final derivative right there. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.